The Turkish army continues to build up on the Syrian border ahead of an operation targeting Kurdish forces of the YPG group. Ankara designates the YPG as terrorists linked to the PKK insurgent group that is fighting Turkey. Until now, Ankara has been constrained because American forces are fighting with the YPG against the Islamic State group. Washington is warning against any operation. But with the United States needing Turkey's support to admit Sweden and Finland into NATO, Ankara sees an opportunity. Turkey uh, believes that diplomatically it is in a strong position uh, at a time when uh, the um, members of the NATO alliance uh, will need uh, Turkey uh, to give a, a green light uh, to NATO enlargement and therefore the possible criticism that this could trigger in the West uh, would also be more limited. The operation seeks to expand Turkey's control of Syrian territory on its border. But in a bid to minimize tensions with Washington, the scope of the assault was reduced to avoid areas where American forces are present, instead focusing on Russian and Damascus regime-controlled areas where the YPG also operates. But analysts warn major risks remain. There is no question that Damascus will not be very happy, but it may not be strong enough to object. Uh, but if the Russians do not allow Turkey to use airspace, then it will be very costly and maybe even impossible for this operation to succeed. In addition to that, Iran is extraordinarily unhappy with any uh, uh, Turkish intervention. They have declared this. And the Russians are playing, now are speaking with both sides of their mouth, actually. With Erdogan refusing to impose sanctions on Russia over Ukraine, Ankara retains leverage over Moscow. Initially, Moscow appears sympathetic, but is now voicing concerns over Turkey's intentions in Syria. During planned talks Wednesday in Ankara, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is expected to drive a hard bargain for a green light to a Turkish-Syrian operation, which analysts say will add to Washington's concerns. Any operation, you know, threatens instability um, and likely entails trade-offs that the Turks will make with the Russians on a bilateral basis. And so this is a time when Washington would like to isolate Russia. And so even bringing this in uh, uh, as part of a Syria operation is something that Washington wouldn't like to see. With President Erdogan languishing in the polls as he faces re-election next year, any Syrian operation, analysts say, will likely play well with his voters. Dorian Jones, VOA News, Istanbul.